Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. Today we are going to balance this reaction. This is glucose, right? C6H12O6. So to balance this reaction, I have to draw a table like this. Okay. So on the left hand side, we have 6 carbon, right? And we have 12 and we have 12 hydrogen and we have 6 oxygen here we have 1 carbon and we have 2 plus 1 that is 3 oxygen right Three oxygen, however, and we have two uh, hydrogen. Two hydrogen, okay, and we'll get some energy here, but this is not acceptable now. So, at first we'll balance the carbon, then hydrogen, then oxygen. So to balance the carbon here, we have six six carbon, but here we have one carbon. So I can multiply here by 6 and I will get 6 carbon, right? If I multiply here by 6, then this 6 will come before this carbon that is here. If I multiply here by 6, the number of oxygen will be changed. So we are getting 6 times 2 that is 12, right? So here I am putting here 12, right? 12. And here we have one oxygen that is I'm getting here 13 oxygen right okay okay and so carbon is balanced here now we have to balance the number of hydrogen so to balance the hydrogen here we have 12 and here we have 2 so I can multiply here by 6 and I'll get 12 right 12 hydrogen so if I put here 6 then this 6 will come before this hydrogen that is here so I have to put here 6 right if I put here 6 the number of oxygen will be changed so 12 plus uh, 6 times 1 that is 6 6 times 1 okay so we are getting here 18 oxygen right okay on the left hand side we have just six oxygen right so we have to take we have to take here uh, such a number um, that will give us 18 right so if i put here uh, 12 right 12 then i will get uh, 18 right so 12 uh, that is here right here so if I put here 6 6 times 2 12 so here I have to put here 6 then 6 times 2 equal to 12 12 plus this 6 so 18 so this is uh, our carbon is balanced our hydrogen is balanced and our oxygen is balanced so this is balanced reaction of glucose and oxygen that produce carbon dioxide and water so thank you for being this video be well